One of the biggest questions that we get here on the channel is whether to go for AkiFlow or Motion. Both of these applications are incredibly popular with those who want to take their task management to the next level. But which one do you actually want to go for? And which one is better value for the price? Because both of these, at the current time of filming, are pretty similar in pricing. Today we're going to go through everything you need to know about these two applications and which one is most suitable for you. This will give you definitive advice on which one to go for and which one to choose. Now welcome everyone, my name is Francesco. If you're new here, you can find out AkiFlow and Motion below. And we'll try and throw some deals into that uh, link if you're interested, uh, you can find that link below. Now we also run Tool Finders. So at the end of this video, if you're continuing to explore these applications, there's gonna be loads, loads, loads more on toolfinder.co. You can join today to get insights, reviews, and a lot more. So I think the best place to start with both of these apps is the pricing. And it's a fairly similar story because they're very similarly priced. And here's a little breakdown of what that looks like. So let's start with the pricing elements of both of these applications. Now, AkiFlow and Motion are very similar in pricing. And when I say very similar, I mean they have the same pricing. Here's a breakdown of what that looks like. Both applications do have team options, but the abilities and extent to what you can do in each team option is very different. Something we'll cover later on in this breakdown. But let's take a look at the features, starting with task management. Now, both of these applications want you to better manage your tasks. And I would say that there's more of a focus on the task management aspect inside of AkiFlow, and primarily because of the real estate on the screen. Inside of each of the views that you're working on, with the calendar view in motion, you get calendar view at the start, and there's a way to break it down into week and day. But in motion, you have upcoming all tasks and also individualized project views, which you can do in the projects area in motion. But in my opinion, this is better laid out in AkiFlow, and there seems to be a much more focused uh, prioritization on tasks. This is probably because of the AI elements that we'll dig into a little bit in terms of what it can offer and what it can do. But in terms of manual task organization, there is, I would say, a better focus on that inside of AkiFlow. There are features like daily stats to help you break down your tasks and the ability like Motion to create events and tasks. But there is this feature that Motion does not have that AkiFlow has called time slots. Now, time slots or task slots are basically a way to create a series of tasks that you can do in one area. So for example, if you're looking to time block, but you want to do three or four tasks as part of a project, and you want to break them down into those tasks, then you can do that using this feature. Now, whilst the ability of chunking in Motion's calendar view does allow you to do this in some sense, the application doesn't have this slot like ability, giving you more manual function over your tasks. And that's probably what I'd say about AkiFlow is it does manual automation much better than a motion. Motion relies heavily on the algorithm to organize your tasks ahead. But there are features in motion that override some of the abilities in AkiFlow, like the ability to change your tasks hours, like to stop your tasks early or start your tasks later, or block your hours or block your day. It's really effective and there's even resolve to help you to reorganize your tasks. Inside of AkiFlow, there is that sometimes that feeling of overdue and having to reorganize your tasks all the time. And that's something to note as well. Now, if you look at both of these applications, the task abilities are pretty simple, similar. If you click into a task, you get the ability to add a few core attributes. In my opinion, the way that Motion have set it up is a lot better. It allows you to add more detailed priority, chunking, and also things like start and duration. Whilst with uh, AkiFlow, it's a little bit more of a smaller experience. You can open the task up into a focus mode, but this is much more for when you're doing the task. Whereas when you're uh, editing the task and the details around it, I find it a lot harder to find certain things like when to replan it, when to snooze it, the time it takes and the duration. It feels a little bit more disjointed. The only thing that I would say this lends itself to is the fact that once you learn natural language, you can quickly add a task in the task title inside of AkiFlow, which is definitely really helpful if you're looking to add a task quite fast. Now, in terms of personal projects, personal projects are basically like labels inside of AkiFlow. 
You can add things like sections, but that's pretty much it. You can also create a time slot based on a type of project, which is quite helpful. But in comparison with the project view inside of Motion, it really doesn't compare. Um, you do have upcoming view in AccuFlow, which is helpful for organizing some of your tasks. But again, those range of views that you get in the project version of Aki, uh, Motion is considerably better, in my opinion. Now, both of these applications do have calendar support, and this is really nice because you can add in Motion your range of calendar like Outlook and iCloud and Google. Now, this is slightly different inside of Motion, inside of AccuFlow, because there's integrations. Now, integrations allow you to do a lot more. For example, you can connect up Outlook, a Google Calendar, but there is currently no option for iCloud. Now, obviously, this goes a lot further inside of AccuFlow. You can connect up things like Slack, Notion, ClickUp, Gmail, Asana, ClickUp, I've said ClickUp twice, Microsoft To Do, Linear, Microsoft Teams, whatever you want. And the concept behind this is called task consolidation, a feature that Motion does not have. The application will basically bring in tasks into your inbox from a wide variety of applications, allowing you to drag them directly into your system. Now, this is perfect if you work across a lot of different accounts. For example, you're in somebody's ClickUp account, or you're in a linear, or you are working through your Gmail, and you want to be able to bring stuff in that's important as a task for later. And bringing and consolidating this in one location is something that AccuFlood does really well and is not available through Motion. So in terms of tasks and calendar management, that is a big game changer in terms of the experience. And a final note on calendar. The AccuFlow abilities for customizing your calendar, like view and options, are much more extensive than you get in Motion. In Motion, you get a few options like show completed task and show events and agenda, and also the ability to change the start date. But there are a lot more customization in terms of what the calendar looks like inside of AccuFlow. Now, moving on, the project management abilities inside of this application are pretty good. So Motion offers really extensive range of views. You've got list, you've got Kanban, and when you click into tasks, you can break them down as part of a backlog, not started and to do. And they're working on introducing flows as well to make that experience a lot better. There's also a range of filtering, sorting, and options to break them down further. And the Gantt view, again, helps you to bring that timeline aspect in. Now, bringing your team in allows you to your team schedule, and that's something you can partially do inside of AccuFlow. There is a team option to start collaborating with team members, but at the same time, it's not really um, as extensive as we see inside of apps like Motion that allow you to do much more in terms of your collaboration. Mo AccuFlow's version of this is much more around um, organizing your tasks around there and being able to see what's on other people's schedules. But in terms of the auto scheduling function that you get for um, inside of Motion, it's considerably better in my opinion. This is much more suited for those who want to see what other people are working on in their team and bringing, out, bringing in tasks that are important from certain applications. So that's something to note is the task consolidation is again prevalent here when using this experience. So when you look at AI across both of these applications, AccuFlow AI is super basic. It's an AI that auto assigns projects for you. Meaning when you add a task, it uses AI to organize them into the right project. And that is really it. Inside of Motion, it's a lot more extensive and it's designed as an algorithm to organize your tasks more effectively. You can turn it off and on, but primarily the more you use it, the better it will get, allowing you to break down tasks using a system, removing that productivity administration element. And in my opinion, if AccuFlow were to add this, it would definitely put them in much closer contention to an offering uh, to offer much more of an AI experience. Now, finally, I'm going to look at booking links. Both of these applications do booking links, allowing you to quickly share some availability with other people. You can create recurring, which means that uh, you can have something that is constantly accessible and has a set criteria. And you can have the uh, range of options like uh, the one-off as well. Both of these applications sort that and they do a very good job of it. Both of them do it in a slightly different manner, 
like, for example, working hours, and there are a bunch of scheduling conditions inside of uh, AccuFlow that try to do this, but both applications do a good job. The only thing I noticed that was slightly different was that Motion offers a best time. So when the other person's booking with you and they want to be able to pick one that's best suited for you or make you the most happy based on the tasks that you've got because of the AI, that's something that it does offer above AccuFlow. So both of these applications are wicked. The ability to go into your tasks than some of the basic task management is much better and you're paying more of a price for that. Both of these applications are exactly the same price. So the only thing I'm gonna say is I would choose AccuFlow if you prefer manual control over your schedule and you rely heavily on integrations with other applications. Because if you're using, say you're a freelancer, working with lots of clients and you wanna be able to pull in multiple ClickUp accounts to, the, to flag tasks that you need to do, then this is probably better for you. Whereas I think if you want a lot of artificial intelligence, then motion is the way to go for that. If you want to remove productivity administration, that's much better. And if project management is more important to you individually or sharing as a team, I would go with motion as well too. So that's how I would break them down. They're both the same pricing, so it's weird to say this. It's really a difference of which tools you need for the job. So thank you very much, and I hope this breakdown gave you some insight into which one to go for. Please do subscribe if you're new, and check out both AccuFlow and Motion in the description below, and explore our resources more over on toolfinder.co, and you can become a subscriber there too.